Hello, welcome to Erwin Singh Academy. We are discussing integration and this is a video lecture number 27. I hope you have already watched part 1 to part 26 before watching part 27. So in this lecture, we are going to discuss some very important questions and some conceptual questions as well. Let us discuss those one. First question I am going to take on today is find the integration of root tan x dx. To solve this question, what to do? First of all, I can put here tan x is equal to t square. So what will be happen? Sec square x dx is equal to 2t dt. Sec square x can be written as 1 plus tan square x dx is equal to 2t dt. So dx is equal to what will happen? 2t upon 1 plus tan square x and tan x is equal to t square. So tan square x would be t4. 1 plus t to the power 4 dt. Now the same integration can come here like uh, integration of i is equal to i is uh, this is t because t square and dt would be 2t dt upon 1 plus t to the power 4 that is 2 t square and uh, divided by t4 plus 1 dt the same can be written as t square plus 1 upon t4 plus 1 dt plus t square minus 1 upon t4 plus 1 dt it can be further here written as what I did here actually is t square plus 1 plus t square minus 1 divided by t4 plus 1 and dt and that further can be written as like this. So we can take it as i1 plus i2 this is equation. Now we can consider i1 is equal. What is i1? i1 is nothing else but uh, uh, we can take on both of them as separate one. Let me write here i1 plus i2. So i is nothing else but i1 plus i2. And now what is i1? i1 is we have solved already this type of question t square plus 1 upon t4 plus 1 dt. Now we know that if there is such function of bi quadratic in denominator, we should divide it by t square. So, upper may or niche may t square should divide kar denge, to aisa a jayega, right? Aapko pata hai ki upper may jab plus ho, to niche minus may break karte hai. So, what indeed I do, need to do is 1 plus 1 by t square dt whole divided by t minus 1 by t whole square plus 2. Now, I can put it as, we can put here, put t minus 1 by t is equal to z. So that implies 1 plus 1 by t square dt is equal to dz. So this integration i1 would come dz upon z square plus 2 that is dz upon z square plus root 2 square which is 1 by a tan inverse z by root 2 and z is nothing else but t minus 1 by t. So finally, this would come like dz upon dz upon sorry. Finally, this would come like 1 by root 2 tan inverse z. Z is t square minus 1 by t whole divided by root 2. So plus c. So that will come 1 by root 2 tan inverse tan x minus 1 upon under root 2 tan x plus c. So this is c1. Constant can be written as c1. Now similarly i2 is equal to what? i2 is t square minus 1 upon t4 plus 1 dt. So we can divide the same thing by t square 1 upon 1 by t square upon t square plus 1 by t square dt. So that can be written as further as i2 is equal to 1 minus 1 by t square. Since in numerator it is negative, so I can put here and uh, break them as positive t plus 1 by t square minus 2 dt. Now you can assume it 
that uh, d plus 1 by t is equal to t. So 1 minus 1 by t square dt that would be dp. Right? So can I write here dp upon p square minus root 2 square that would be x square minus a square pattern 1 by 2 a log x minus a that is p minus root 2 upon p plus root 2 plus c. So p is nothing else but t square plus 1 by t. So that is 1 by 2 root 2 log t square plus 1 upon t minus root 2 and t square plus 1 upon t right my plus root 2 plus c so that will be 1 by 2 root 2 log t square plus 1 minus root 2 t upon t square plus 1 plus root 2 t plus c2 this integration constant of integration can be considered as c2 now what indeed it will come i2 that was i2 i2 is equal to 1 by 2 root 2 log t square what was t t was tan square x so tan square x t is tan x is equal to t square so tan x plus 1 minus under root 2 tan x divided by tan x plus 1 plus under root 2 tan x and plus c2 so now i is equal to i1 plus i2 from first we can assume we can put this i is equal to i1 plus i2 we can put both the value and we will be able to get this answer so what was this i1 was here 1 by 2 tan inverse tan x minus 1 upon root 2 tan x 1 by root 2 1 by root 2 tan inverse tan x plus 1 upon under root 2 tan x right plus 1 by 2 root 2 log tan x plus 1 minus under root 2 tan x upon tan x plus 1 plus under root 2 tan x plus c. So that will be c1 plus c2 is equal to c. So that will be indeed the answer of this question. So I hope you got it. It bit uh, lengthy, long calculation is there, but still this is a good question and every serious aspirants must know about this. Now the next question is i is equal to integration of cube root of tan x dx. So what to do? To solve this question, one should think about that this is tan x to the power 1 by 3 tan to the power 1 by 3x that we need to integrate so we can put it in tan to the power 1 by 3 when it will come if you integrate this then you should come tan to the power 1 by 3 either in numerator or it will be in denominator in both the cases so a specific integration to be um, taken care of यहाँ पर आपको ध्यान रखना होगा कि ये चीज जो आना चाहिए यहाँ पे ये integration है ये कैसे आएगा क्या हम इसे tan cube मान ले tan x is equal to t cube मान ले ऐसा करने से क्या problem solve हो जाएगी हम इसको कर सकते हैं t square tan cube x या tan x square x को put कर लेते हैं t cube tan square x is equal to t cube that is tan to the power 2 by 3 x is equal to t or even t square can be taken also then differentiate them what will happen 2 2 by 3 tan to the power minus 1 by 3 x and derivative of tan x is sec square x dx is equal to dt so that would be 2 by 3 1 upon tan to the power 1 by 3 x right and sec square x is 1 plus tan square x dx is equal to dt and tan square x is nothing else but t cube 
So 2 by 3, 1 plus t cube upon t to the power 1 by 3 would be t square, isn't it? Uh, 1 by root 2, t to the power 1 by 3 here, that is tan to the power 1 by 3, this 2 would be 1 by 2. So root t and dx is equal to dt. So therefore, I can write here dx is equal to 3 by 2 root t upon 1 plus t cube, isn't it, dt, can I write like this, yes, can I, I can, so what will happen, now see the question, question is i is equal to, i is equal to what, i is equal to integration of, this is tan x is equal to what, tan x is equal to t cube, so, it will be root t, tan x is equal to what, tan x is equal to tan to the power 1 by 3 is equal to, this is tan to the power 1 by 3, na? tan to the power 1 by 3 is equal to t to the power 1 by 2. So, t to the power 1 by 2 and in place of dx, this will be 3 by 2 root t upon 1 plus t cube dt. Now, the same thing here, root power 1 by 2 is also root. So, root is root t into root t is t. So, 3 by 2 can be taken out t upon 1 plus t cube dt. You know, a q plus b q can be written as a plus b into a square minus a b plus b square. You know that? So, dt. Now, this is a linear and quadratic function. So, can I write as a partial fraction? Yes, we can. Now, this will be 3 by this function. Let me write here. Just a split one. This can be second, taken as 1. Now, we have t upon 1 plus t into 1 minus t plus t square. Right? That can be further written as a upon 1 plus t plus bt plus c upon t square minus t plus 1, right, the same thing, now we can compare the like coefficient a into t square minus t plus 1 plus bt plus c would be t plus 1, right, now what will come, that will be t is equal to a plus b uh, we can have to find value of a and b, na? so tricky approach, let us go for tricky approach. What is that? Put t plus 1 is equal to 0. So t plus 1 will be equal to 0, it means this term will be completely 0. And in that case t is equal to minus 1. If I put t is equal to minus 1, then this will be minus 1. Minus 1 whole square is 1. And this is minus 1, so it will be also 1 plus 1. In that case, a is equal to minus 1 by 3. And how to find value of b? Here, coefficient of t square will come from here. Coefficient of t square will come from here, there, and that is b. So, but there is no coefficient of t square. It means a plus b is equal to 0, and therefore b is equal to minus a. And minus of minus 1 by 3 is 1 by 3. So, b is equal to 1 by 3. Now, we can equate constant term as 0, since a plus b is equal to 0, and therefore we can write like this. Now, constant term will come from here only. You know, no? a and there it will come c. a plus c is equal to 0. Also, a plus c is equal to 0 and therefore c is equal to minus a. That is, c is also equal to 1 by 3. So, a, b, c all three has been calculated now. Now, we can write here integration i is equal to a is minus 1 by 3. So, I can write here a is minus 1 by 3, minus 1 by 3, integration of dt upon 1 plus t and b and c are the same thing. b is also 1 by 3, c is also 1 by 3. So, we can write here b in place of b 1 by 3, t plus 1, right now, because 1 by 3 can be taken common, upon t square minus t plus 1, integral dt. Now, this will come up minus 1 by 3, 1 by t, derivative niche wale ka upar hai. So, what I can write, 
log 1 plus t plus 1 by 3 integration of t plus 1 नीचे वाले का ऊपर डेरिवेटिव होना चाहिए ये पहले हमने किया हुआ है तो क्या होना चाहिए 2t टी माइनस वन सो इफ आई मल्टीप्लाई बाई टू एंड डिवाइड बाई टू एज वेल देन वॉट विल है टू टी प्लस टू डिवाइडेड बाई टी स्क्वायर माइनस टी प्लस वन टी टी बट वी नीड टू टी माइनस वन सो आई कैन राइट हेयर लॉग लॉग ऑफ वन प्लस टी प्लस वन बाई सिक्स इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ टू टी माइनस वन प्लस वन दैट इज थ्री डिवाइडेड बाई टी स्क्वायर माइनस टी प्लस वन डी टी सो इट फर्दर कैन बी रिटर्न एच वन बाई थ्री लॉग वन प्लस टी प्लस वन बाई सिक्स टू टी माइनस वन अपॉन टी स्क्वायर माइनस टी प्लस वन डी टी प्लस थ्री इंटू वन बाई सिक्स दैट इज वन बाई टू डी टी अपॉन t square minus t plus one. So finally, it will come like one by three log of one plus t, right? One plus t plus one by six log of t square minus t plus one because niche wale ka upper kya hai derivative. So we can write this derivative of denominator is in numerators we can like write log of denominator plus 1 by 2 this to be made as perfect square so we can write t square minus t plus 1 by 2 whole square minus 1 by 2 whole square so 1 minus 1 by 4 is 3 by 4 right now so that same thing can come here minus 1 by 3 log of 1 plus t plus 1 by 6 log of t square minus t plus 1 plus 1 by 2 integration of dt upon t minus half whole square plus root 3 by 2 whole square. So that will come here minus 1 by 3 log of 1 plus t plus 1 by 6 log of t square minus t plus 1 plus 1 by 2 this is in form of x square by a square so 1 by a 1 upon root 3 by 2 that would come 2 by root 3 tan inverse x by a root 3 by 2 plus c so finally this will come minus 1 by 3 log of 1 plus t plus 1 by 6 log of t square minus t plus 1 plus 1 by root 3 2 2 cancels out right and that would be tan inverse 2 t minus 1 upon root 3 plus c but what is t t was minus 1 by 3 log 1 plus t was nothing else but this is what let me write here t is tan to the power 2 by 3 x tan to the power 2 by 3 x so tan to the power 2 by 3 x plus 1 by 6 log of tan to the power 2 by 3 to the power this so 4 by 3 minus tan to the power 2 by 3 x plus 1 plus 1 by 3 tan inverse what is that let me write this later plus 1 by root 3 tan inverse 2 tan to the power 2 by 3 x minus 1 upon root 3 plus c and that will be the answer of this question. So this is a very lengthy one but still for concept building I think this is a required this question has been asked many times. Um, when I write IET was subjective but still this is the great application of this type of question you need to know but remember there was 3 by 2 as a factor so you need to write here 3 by 2 you need to write at every step so finally the integration will be this is 2 by 3 i I can write here this integrand will be 2 by 3 i because 2 by 3 3 by 2 was there 
if you multiply this 3 by 2 this side it will be 2 by 3 so that will be 2 by 3i so the output what we have error got it here that is 2 by 3i so what will happen that i will come here this is 2 by 3i so what will come i will cancel here 3 and 2 will divide therefore i is equal to 3 3 cancel minus 1 by 2 log 1 plus 10 to the power 2 by 3x plus 1 by 2 into 2 4 1 by 4 1 by 4 log of whatever things will come 10 to the power 4 by 3x minus 10 to the power 2 by 3x plus 1 and that will come here because it will cancel by root 3 times so root 3 by 2 that is root 3 by 2 plus root 3 by 2 this one the thing is tan inverse 2 to the power tan inverse 2 by 3 x minus 1 upon root 3 plus c and that will be answered in fact so i hope you got it this is a lengthy question but still you can do this now let us solve some other question taking into consideration another question and that question is uh, something uh, easier than previous two so let us discuss this question and question is here dx upon sin x right plus sin 2x to solve this question this is a question what to do i can be written as dx upon sin x you know sin 2x is 2 sin x cos x so can i take sin x as common yes so dx upon sin x if i would take common 1 plus 2 cos x right so multiply numerator at denominator by sin x we will have sin x dx upon sin square x into 1 plus 2 cos x now this will be sin x dx upon 1 minus cos square x into 1 plus 2 cos x dx so if i put now that uh, cos x is equal to t then in that case minus sin x dx would be dt in that case it will be minus dt sin x dx will be minus dt so integration would be in that case i is equal to i is equal to what will happen i is equal to minus dt upon 1 minus t square into 1 plus 2t right so if i multiply by minus sign then what will happen integrand will be dt upon t square minus 1 into 2t plus 1 right so that further can be written as dt upon t minus 1 t plus 1 t minus 1 a square minus b square right t plus 1 t minus 1 and 2t plus 1 isn't it now we can use partial fraction to evaluate all this what to do and how to do now consider this a function that 1 upon t minus 1 t plus 1 right and 2t plus 1 so to answer such question we have given the idea already uh, let me write the answer directly what the direct answer how to write the answer directly we have learned that answer would be in form of a log t plus 1 plus b log t minus 1 plus c log 2t plus 1 right this is what will come a b c the value of a b c will come from there what is how value of a b c can be calculated to calculate value of a b c t plus 1 to be put as 0 so if t plus 1 is equal to 0 that is t is equal to minus 1 so minus 1 minus 1 minus 2 and if i put t is equal to minus 1 this will be minus 2 plus 1 that is minus 1 
So minus 1 will come from here or minus 2 come from there. So minus 1 into minus 2 that would be 2. And in numerator this will remain 1. So value of A will be 1 by 2. Value of B is what? So to answer this put T is equal to 1. Not in this one but other 2. T is equal to 1. So 1 plus 1 would be 2. Here 2. And this would be 3. 3 into 2 6. So value of B will be 1 by 6. To find answer of C, we can uh, this put this equal to 0, that is t is equal to minus half, t is equal to minus half plus 1 is half and minus half minus 1, minus 3 by 2. So minus half plus 1 is half multiplied by minus 3 by 2 is uh, minus half multiplied by minus 3 by 2, that is minus 3 by 4. So C would be minus 3 by 4, nothing else, minus 3 by 4, right? And we can write this answer by using this ABC value of ABC can be calculated. Got it? I hope you got it. Now, coefficient of T to be divided here in the last one, right now? Coefficient of T to be divided in the last one, so it will be divided by 1 by 2 as well. So answer of ABC will come here this and now you can put and you will be able to get it. What is t? What was t? t was cos x. So what is the final answer? Final answer would be here. Final answer can be written like 1 by 2 log 1 plus cos x plus 1 by 6 log cos x minus 1 plus minus 3 by 8 minus 3 by 8 log 2 cos x plus 1 plus c answer so in this way you can write the answer of such question okay i hope you got it now the next question is question is dx i is equal to dx upon 1 plus x square whole square to answer such question clearly one can say that put x is equal to tan theta x is equal to tan theta then dx is equal to sec square theta d theta right in that case answer this will come as sec square theta d theta and this will be 1 plus tan square theta whole square so that will be sec square theta d theta and clearly this is sec square theta whole square that is sec square theta into sec square theta this is cancels sec square theta will come in numerator it will be cos square theta d theta we know very well that whenever there is a cos square theta we can write it 1 plus cos 2 theta by 2 the very first lecture remember this we had discussed this and therefore it can be 1 plus cos 2 theta d theta now integration of 1 is theta so I can write theta here and cos 2 theta is sin 2 theta by 2 plus c. So what will we need to write? We can write it like 1 by 2. Theta is nothing else but tan inverse 6. Tan inverse 6. But what do you need to write for sin 2 theta? Sin 2 theta can be written in terms of tan. Here I need to write, let me explain this sin 2 theta can be written as sin 2 theta can be written as 2 tan theta upon 1 plus tan square theta but tan theta is nothing else but x so x is equal to tan theta so 2x upon 1 plus x square so in place of sin 2 theta we can write 2x upon 1 plus x square but in denominator there was 2 so that will 2 will cancel this so x upon 1 plus x square plus c that will be the answer so fully you got this what to do and how to do to answer such questions you need to um, know the way how to proceed and that will develop the idea about the concept about the techniques in which you can deal with some other type of question and that usually come in competitive examination so it will be better to go ahead and practice all this once again and um, do it again and again at home 
so that it will develop your thought process and different idea about the taking the question into consideration. So I hope uh, you enjoyed this and not become too bored because it is lengthy question and long solutions were there. So uh, you be in touch and keep this uh, in mind again and again. So practice them. And uh, if you have any problem, do write to us at Arvind Singh Academy at the rate of gmail.com. So thank you. Thank you very much. God bless.